Warning: The SCP Foundation audio archive is classified. Access by unauthorized personnel is strictly prohibited. Perpetrators will be tracked, located, and detained. Office furniture. Item number: SCP-2130. Object class: safe. Special containment procedures. All instances of SCP-2130 are to be sent to storage location 73E, an automated storage warehouse in the Texas desert. Storage location 73E is to be monitored via CCTV. Guard presence should be minimized where possible. Any further testing of SCP-2130 must not be conducted at primary foundation sites and requires level 3 clearance, particularly any tests involving human subjects. SCP-3311 is to be monitored for any instances of SCP-2130 produced by its effect. Description. SCP-2130 is a collection of standard office furniture, each item of which affects brain function in humans near the item. The magnitude of this effect varies based on the subject's underlying personality and the number of SCP-2130 items in proximity, but it is characterized by increased impulsiveness, reduced social inhibitions, and inaccurate perception of risk. This is particularly evident in the subject's assessment of the value of human life and health. SCP-2130 instances have been implicated in more than 84 Foundation injuries and fatalities. Footnote 1. This does not count Class D casualties, as it has been deemed too time-consuming to determine the influence of SCP-2130 on such a large sample. SCP-2130 instances operate by emitting kappa radiation in a form which interferes with the subject's neural oscillation. While other psionic and cognitive anomalies also produce kappa radiation as a benign secondary effect, the method by which SCP-2130 generates such radiation is unknown. The anomalous effect is not permanent, and removal of the affected items will result in the subject's behavior returning to normal. To date, the following instances of SCP-2130 have been identified and moved to storage location 73E. 1 waste paper basket, 27 standard office chairs, 12 laboratory benches, 42 computer monitors, and 17 fire extinguishers. Selected Test Logs, SCP-2130 Test Log SCP-2130-23 March 14, 2014 Subject C-1296 Procedure Subject, a Foundation Research Assistant, was introduced to a room containing an instance of SCP-2130, lab bench, on which was placed a non-anomalous chef's knife. Subject was informed that the knife was a newly identified SCP candidate object which could cut through any material and never become blunt. Subject was asked to devise an experimental procedure to test these anomalous properties. Result. The subject proposed immediate testing of a knife on human flesh and bone. Observation team approved the testing protocol, which was carried out on D-8477 and then repeated on D-8488, D-8489, and D-8490 for verification of results. Observation team noted that the subject appeared to show no concern over the slaughter of Class D personnel purely for the purposes of a simple experiment. Analysis On supervisor review, it was determined that the properties of SCP-2130 had affected the observation team as well as the subject. Changes to experimental procedure proposed. Test SCP-2130-25, March 24, 2014. Subject, randomly selected Site-73 Research Assistance. Procedure, as per test SCP-2130-23, but testing room relocated to storage location 73E, with observation team monitoring remotely from a location confirmed to be free from SCP-2130. 
Compared to a control group, the experimental group were significantly more likely to propose testing of a knife on live humans before testing on inorganic material, plants, or animals. In addition, the experimental group were more likely to propose immediate testing to see if a knife could, amongst other things, cut through multiple Class D subjects simultaneously, the doors of containment cells currently in use, anomalous items or entities, particularly those of Keter class, uranium atoms, and the fabric of reality. Analysis The observation team immediately notified the site director of potential contamination of experimental protocols by SCP-2130. On return to Site-73, the observation team amended its report to request that SCP-2130 instances be stored in or near Keter class containment units to reduce the reluctance of D-class personnel to work with dangerous items. Request denied by the Site Director. Site Director Communique. Access requires Level 4 clearance. Clearance confirmed. From Director, Site 73. To All Site Directors, O5 Council. Date, June 18th, 2014. You may know of our discovery of SCP-2130. What has not been disclosed to staff is that every instance of SCP-2130 identified to date has been recovered from within Site-73 itself. That first waste paper basket was inside my office. The affected furniture has been traced to a range of security cleared suppliers, and investigations into the original manufacturer are ongoing. The result is that SCP-2130 instances are probably unnoticed in many Foundation sites. We have reconditioned scanners that help detect them, but background K radiation at Foundation sites means we need physical contact with an object to get a clear reading. We are now scanning all new deliveries to Site-73, as well as checking individual items across a site. This is consuming a high level of resources, but I have classed this a priority to be exercised, and I strongly urge you to authorize similar measures across the Foundation. The reasons should be obvious. SCP-2130 undermines the Foundation's purpose by fostering a cavalier attitude to containment. If safety ceases to be our utmost priority, we fail in our task. Subjects tested with SCP-2130 also demonstrate reckless disregard for Class D personnel. I know we sometimes need to put them in harm's way for the greater good, but these are human lives in our hands. Even if you don't agree with me on humanitarian grounds, you have to bow to the economics. Fewer Class D casualties would reduce Foundation costs and improve productivity. Conducting research in the presence of SCP-2130 instances leads to a range of dangerous behaviors including unnecessary cross-testing and experiments that appear to any rational mind to maximize the chance of death and injury to Foundation staff and civilians. It's clear that Foundation security has been dramatically compromised by an organization with great expertise on anomalies, huge resources, and a purpose inimical to ours. Removing SCP-2130 instances from all Foundation facilities should be high on our collective agenda. Request. Detection of SCP-2130 to be made priority to be at all sites. SD-73. From O5 Council. Date. June 18th, 2014. Request denied. SCP-2130 does not justify priority 2B. Individual sites may conduct scanning as resources allow. Current Class D turnover rates considered acceptable. We don't see anything unnecessarily risky in the Foundation's current approach. Thank you for listening. Intro music was from Punch Deck. You can find more at soundcloud.com slash punch dash deck. Level 2 patrons or higher can get early, ad-free episodes. You can suggest an SCP to be read by using the form linked below. This was streamed live on YouTube. You can find previous and future scheduled events listed on our website. Thanks for listening, 
and I will see you in the next episode.